Hey guys, this is Bezgi Marley and today I'm back with another Dying Light video and in this video I'm going to show you the top 5 guns in Dying Light. So we're going to see the top 5 best guns available in Dying Light as well as the following. So let's go and check that out. So for the number 5th position we have the Marksman Rifle. As everybody knows Marksman Rifle is really good at accuracy and really wrecks the zombie easily. That's why it's in the number 5 position. Well. Talking about the damage, it won't do that many damage, but if you want an automatic one, as you can see, I'm actually having an automatic marksman rifle. In order to make this one, you need a military rifle, advanced military rifle from a store, which will do like this. So it's going to be automatic only if you have an advanced military rifle and the DLC, which is Gun Psycho, then only you can make an advanced. I mean, a marksman rifle which can wreck the zombie. If you're really good at accuracy, you really like guns, I think you should go for this one for yourself. But, you know, at the end, marksman rifle looks really good. You need the DLC gun cycle in order to use this one. And uh, it actually just does, it actually does the job, man. It actually kills the zombie. Well, when we're talking about the accuracy and everything, let's talk about a weapon which can really shoot a lot of bullets at a time. And that's why we have in the number 4 position the engraved barrel SMG. Now why this we weapon is even in the number 4 position just because it has 1000 something damage and it really kills the zombie really fast because it's an SMG. Oh <laughs> god damn it. It's kind of reloading. You can see. This is what a, a submachine does. God damn it. But if you're really good at, at shooting the zombies you can actually wreck them well most of the people like to use this weapon during the invasion just because if the night hunter has really low health and trying to escape you can just shoot at him just you know no need to just oh shit no need to even look at him just keep on shooting at things and you can wreck the night hunters easily and um, as you can see this is far more better than the previous one and i showed you better than the maximum rifle and let me talk about the accuracy is not that great but still if you can shoot these many bullets, at least you will hit one or two bullets to the zombie, which will do a lot of damage because this does thousand damage more than the marksman rifle. Um, yeah, as you just saw, accuracy is not that great, but it really does the job. And killing the zombie is really easy with a good animation of reloading. There goes the zombies, wrecking them. Now let's move on to our number three position, and for the number three position, we have a a rice gun. So why I choose this gun in the number 3 position, because this is easily available, it does really good damage more than like 1000 something, it really does good damage and most of the people like to use it because it's, it's a racist gun, you, know? you can tell by the name, let's try to shoot it, see that's, that's what it does. Oh my god, one click and this does, it shoots a lot of um, bullets, like 3 bullets at a time, try look at this, hear this, 3 bullets. God damn it! This weapon is why this weapon is in the number number three position because it's true, it's so true that this thing can wreck the zombie easily. I mean, for one zombie, three bullets. God damn it, Kyle Crane! You're lucky that Rays didn't have this gun at the end. Well, you would have died there, man. Still, you can say this is really easy. Wow, there was a hole in his chest. God damn it! We did that with this weapon. Oh, a well, headshot. Let me try to aim on the head this time. There you go. That's how you shoot in the head of a zombie and wreck them easily. Oh, missed that really bad at accuracy. I mean, it does have like 95 accuracy, I guess, but it really depends on you how you actually use this weapon. Let me, let me show you. See, it, just, it can just wreck the zombies. Um, I never tried this against the night and well every weapon does the same amount of damage so the shotgun as well as the guns they all will do the same amount of damage so there's no difference in that oh damn out of ammo and let's move on to the one of the most powerful weapon for the number two position is the engraved semi-automatic shotgun and the reason for that is because it has 14,105 and this is what it does it wrecks the zombies it literally wrecks the zombie. Let it be any zombie. It actually wrecks the zombie really, really good. 
And it's not that easy to get, but it's difficult, but still, yeah. I was talking about the accuracy, of course, you know, you can easily shoot a zombie when he's right in front of you, like this zombie. Boom. And where's the another one will be coming right here? You can just shoot it, like, boom, it's gone. So the accuracy for this one, I should say, is fair enough. I mean, what do you expect from a shotgun? It's, it's actually made to shoot from the nearest point, like this. But, you know, the dis like it destroys the zombie, this is what it does. This is what this weapon is made for, destroying the zombies. And actually, this is what it's actually doing. So, we're just wrecking the zombie with this engraved semi-automatic shotgun. It's not as easy to get, but still, it does the job. And if you can get it from your friends, if you don't have it, they, most of the people just duplicate it nowadays and have it. So you can get it too. And use it against the zombies, even the demolishers are stupidly one shot. One shot for the demolisher, one shot for the goon, one shot for these virals as well as the other zombies except for the night and because as i said you can see this is what happens so night hunters won't if, get affected by the shotgun if you try it during the invasion that would be a stupid thing if you're trying to do that in the invasion don't actually can go against the night hunter with any gun um you can go for the smg but only when the zombie has low damage i mean low health but never try a, a shotgun like this thinking it will do a lot of damage or it won't so let's move on to a number of fun position. See what is the gun which is far more better than each and every gun in this list and why it's on number one position. So the number one for the number one position we have the gun called Golden Double Barrel Shotgun. So you might have seen my old video on this one. This has 125 more damage than the other shotguns. Like it has 14,201 damage. It literally wrecks each and every zombie as i said no night hunter but still each and every zombie directs easily as you can tell by the name golden it has a really golden look to it um boom boom it actually shoots in two shots two bullets at a time that actually makes the zombie fly away destroys in pieces this is what happens to each and every zombie which comes closer to it and definitely the accuracy is same as engraved semi-automatic hash but the damage as I said is far more better and by the looks who doesn't want a golden looking shotgun which is really good and wrecks a zombie and does this job uh, can you please leave my leg thank you yeah so that's 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 my top five list what do you guys think about this list if you guys really think my top five list was correct make sure to like it and you think if I missed any any one of the guns which should be included in this in this top 5 list make sure to comment that below and i'll be making another part of it a top 5 of it and yeah this is gonna be in the top 5 until then i'll see you guys in the next dying light video